Did I lose you there for a moment? You know what's on my mind. My baby brother, Dylan. Seventeen years since the men of this bureau took him. upon the perceived reality. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one, ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it.
you. Did you hear that? It's the dead man. Right after the pyramid spoke to me and it was just noise and I understood every word. And this gun's alive. You know what? I'm happy. Happy to be here. Things have quieted down outside. Is it safe to go? Dead man. Okay.
Reminder, if you experience an unanticipated building shift, follow these simple steps. 1. Search the room for any altered items or objects of power. 2. Carry the altered item or object of power to the nearest safe room. 3. Wait for bureau staff to find you and the object. If there are no altered items or objects of power in the vicinity, then reach your supervisor via the nearest intercom and await further instructions. Thank you for your attention. to invade me earlier. The hiss burrowing into everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? Alright, it's our enemy. That babble's contagious. It burrows in like an infuriating melody that makes you hum it over and over.
with the Bureau. Are you still sane? I can't tell you how happy I am to talk to somebody sane. The feeling's mutual. Yeah, I'm Pope. Emily Pope. I'm Dr. Darling's assistant. My turn. Should I lie? Jesse Faden. I'm just visiting. I should have lied. Oh, shit. You're the new director. Hold on. We're coming out. Director, Faden. Call me Jesse. Okay, Jesse. I'm Emily. Look, somehow this hostile force, this hiss, that works. Somehow the hiss managed to infiltrate the building without any warning. And just like that, my name for it is official. The hiss. Like the sound of poison gas leaking in. We're in full lockdown. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone not protected by an HRA. And, extraordinarily, you. You are the director, and that makes you special by definition. And Trench is no longer the director, obviously. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. This whole situation is just a lot. Trench is dead. Shot. Ah. I found his body. And the gun. Do I tell her it looked like a suicide? The service weapon. Also, and this can sound crazy, but he keeps appearing to me, saying things. It's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point, push the hiss out. The whole room shifted around. You did that? And you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown before you became the new director? How? I'm not ready to tell her about you yet. A janitor let me in. <laughs> I love it. This is fucking unbelievable. It's... I can't even... Ugh, look, Jesse, I have a million questions and you probably have a million more. Like, do you know my brother Dylan? Not yet. But there's something I need to ask you to do first. If you can cleanse a control point, then you can maybe cure those infected or possessed by the hiss. Because if that's possible, our options are very different. Emily Pope. I don't know her, but I like her already. She's the opposite of the faceless agency I've blamed for what happened to me for so long. But I can't trust her yet. Or rather, the Bureau she's a part of. Yes. I can try. I'm speaking for you, of course. We can try it together. Okay. You with me? We did it before. Push the hiss out. Ripping it out rips them apart. Jesse, over here. We need to make a plan, Jesse. I can't cleanse them. I saw. It was worth a shot. Thank you, Director. Jesse. I'm gonna tell her why I'm here. I'll risk it. Listen, 
The Bureau was involved in an incident in my hometown, Ordinary, 17 years ago. The Bureau came in and covered the whole thing up. I've been looking for this place for a long time. That's enough. Maybe that's too much already. I can't tell her about Dylan and the rest yet. I've seen mentions of an altered world event case dealing with Ordinary. You were at Ground Zero as a child? It was one of the big ones, and before my time. And very classified. I can try to dig out some old files for you. My boss, Casper Darling, would know, but he's missing. I think he knew this was coming, or suspected. He came up with the HRAs, the Hadron Resonance Amplifiers. I think they're what saved us. A few of us. And Director Trench would know. Trench. The ghost, or whatever he is. He mentioned something called the hotline. Said I should find it. It's another object of power, like the gun. An old Bakelite telephone. A direct line of communication between the director and the board. Maybe he can talk to you more clearly through that. I mean, Trench has years and years of experience. He might know how to destroy the Hiss. Where is the hotline? It's kept in the communications department through the mailroom. It's part of this sector, so we can access it even with the lockdown in place. We'll get the door open for you. Okay, that's my next stop. That's Tomasi's department. He's the head of communications. I don't think he had an HRA. He kind of made a point about not wearing one earlier. Keep an eye out. They call me the director. But that's not me. I'm not a director type. I'm not a leader. Why am I here? I think you already know. Yes, I came for my brother, but there are other reasons too. I said I was looking for answers, but I might never understand them. I'm not looking for proof. This is already it. More than enough. No matter what they told me all those years, I know it's real now. I didn't imagine this. I want to be a part of this world. What scares me shitless is that I finally found it. Only to see the hiss destroy it all. No stupid questions. The door to the comms department is just outside the boardroom back in the lobby. They should have gotten it open by now. Follow the signs to the mailroom. You can get to the hotline containment chamber through there. Good luck, Jesse. See you back here once you have the hotline. Thanks, Em. The hotline should be in the communications department. Where did the hiss come from? I'm not sure. You said the hiss was here when you entered. Did you see anything like that outside before you came in? No. No, just inside. The source is internal, then. See, the oldest house is a sprawling complex with openings to other places as well. I don't even know where to start looking. But in the context, it's good news. The lockdown holds. The hiss escaping the building would be the end. Pretty shitty world out there if you ask me, but I wouldn't want the hiss to destroy it. I'm with you on that, Emily. You mentioned the oldest house. What is it? This building, the Bureau Headquarters, the oldest house, is a shifting place. I, you've seen it. It transcends its physical limits. I've been to New York a few times. How didn't I notice this place? It's an attribute of the building. 
This is a place of power. The oldest house doesn't like attention. So unless you're purposely trying to find it, you don't, which is perfect for us. The work we do here is essential, but unstable. The Bureau prefers not to be noticed. And we need strong walls to make sure nothing gets out. So without you, I never would have found the front door. Okay. So HRA stop you from becoming Hiss? Well, it seems that way. I mean, I hadn't even heard of an HRA until a few weeks ago when Dr. Darling started handing them out. Well, I began analyzing mine as soon as I got it. I mean, each one it seems to emit a powerful short range frequency way beyond anything I've ever seen. Doesn't the timing seem suspicious? I thought that too. Dr. Darling usually likes to unveil his latest breakthrough in big presentations. With these, he just passed them out. Yeah, his behavior makes me wonder what exactly he knew. Thanks, Emily. I'm sure I'll have more questions soon. Just let me know. There it is again, our welcome message. Overpowering here. You don't want me anywhere near it. I'm with you on that.
Communications. We're on the right track. Object of power. Looks like the heads have latched on to it. We need to find it.
It's harder to hear you when I'm here. It's like the channel's been changed. The board's in charge here. Their pyramids in the bureau seal. Are they really the ones pulling the strings? I'm not their director. I'm no one's director. Just like you wanted, right? This will help me fight the hiss. said that the hotline can be reached through the mail room. This is where Daphne repeats. 
Maybe there's a key nearby. This must open the door. I have a feeling I'll be back. Let's stay focused. The hotline should be past the mailroom. Alberto Tomasi, head of comms. The hiss got him. All right, take this down. The situation in Cuba has been evaluated by the relevant authorities. The mysterious illness affecting the staff at the U.S. Embassy in Havana was caused by sonic weaponry in the hands of a foreign power. Numerous personnel have damage to the inner ear, but most are expected to make a full recovery. Of course, the event also damaged their cellular walls, but we can't blame that on some stupid noise gun. <laughs> Thank God no local doctors examined them first. Honestly, what are the odds an alternate item would show up inside a U.S. Embassy? Talk about good luck, huh? <laughs> so much easier to... Hey, are you still recording this?
hotline can't be far now. a lot of roadside motels across the country on the road on the run under the radar this feels like all of them like something recognized from a dream
It is a phone. It's an object of power. It doesn't connect to any typical network. A direct line to the astral plane and the board. And my hypothesis is, under the right conditions to other planes of existence as well. a team, my management team. These people know the secrets of the Bureau as well as I do. Some even better. Darling, Tomasi, Salvador, Marshall. Marshall especially, my head of operations. She sees right through me. She knows I don't like relying on people. The only person you should fail is yourself. But things change when you become director. I have it. The hotline. I can reach Trench. Well, listen to him. He feels more like an echo. An echo with important info. I need to get back to Emily. People react strongly when I tell them about you. Is it too soon to tell Emily? She might be able to help.
objects of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered world event. Hotline? I mean, how is it out there? The comms? The hiss? I... Sorry. You made it. I'm glad. Emily? Let's talk. Of course. I got the hotline. I can make out what Trench is saying now. Incredible. What did he say? He talked about his management team. People who knew the Bureau of Secrets. Your boss, darling. Tomasi, but he's gone. He has gone. Salvador? He's the head of security. And Marshall? Helen Marshall is head of operations. She's tough, ex-CIA. She took her rangers and went to the research sector to secure the HRA production. She hasn't come back. Someone who could help us. The other sectors. How do I get there? It's impossible because of the internal lockdown. You can perform a directorial override to lift it, but that can only be done in the maintenance sector. Normally, you take the sector elevator down there. It connects all the sectors, but it won't work while the lockdown is in effect. We already got past one lockdown. Maybe I can find a way. Jesse, look, with no prep, no training in this extreme situation. You are doing phenomenally well, and all that and the hiss can't seem to affect you. I mean, I would love to run some tests on you. If you agree, that is. We could find out something that would help us. Tests? I don't know. She might find out about you. But I wouldn't mind understanding more myself. Okay. If you think it will help. Great. I'll check the internal documentation for any lockdown bypasses. We need to get these sectors open to locate Darling and Marshall. And I'll look for a way inside the maintenance sector. The sooner we find one, the sooner I reach this override.
Hi, Jesse. Thanks, Emily. I'm sure I'll have more questions soon. Just let me know. Do you hear that? Someone's singing. Where's it coming from? Singing? Sounds like it's coming from the elevator. Hope has asked us to document the his incantation, she calls it. You mean like in person? In person. Safer. Go suffocating in there. Oxygen's pumped into the room. There's never any cases. They say the new director can launch objects up to 20 feet. Bullshit. He never recorded any distance over five. Obviously you never read the P6 data.
executive sector is supposed to have a designated security team here for our protection. Where the hell are they? If the internal lockdown is in effect, then they can't use the elevator to reach us. We're on our own. I can't believe they would think of these things when they install the lockdown. Like I said before, the janitor is a friendly face. The maintenance sector is the janitor domain. If I can find Ati here, he can help me reach the override. Maybe it was you who got me into the oldest house with the lockdown on. Maybe it was Ati. It felt like he made the elevator appear that took me to Trench's office. Is Ati guiding me too? The directorial override is right there, in the control room. How do we get there?
What's down that way? Well done. You got the job. It's place for congratulations. Yippee, Satana. It happened in the last drop. I truly need an assistant. Funny thing is, I've been a janitor. I'm more at home in that role than as the director. Only Ati here seems to see that. Yeah, hi, Ati. Look, we need to get the lockdown lifted, otherwise I can't get to the other sectors. Can you help me get to the override? Yes, yes. Easy peasy. It's just around the corner. But first, we need to get you working. Very small couple of Hours chop. Something tells me it's gonna be more than that. Yaha, yeah, 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 yeah. you think there's a dog buried in this? I can tell you are not the yesterday's grouse's son. That's why you make a great assistant. Very well. I'll hit the facts on the table. No, I'm not going to say that this house has a vermin problem. A bad one. They've already messed up the cooling plant. Oh, 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 oh and we all disappear like a fart in Sahara. Trying my best to keep up with this. <laughs> Fix the coolant pumps and the power generators, otherwise the power plant will blow. But don't you worry. I've left you clear instructions. You'll catch the end of the thread before I go to my vacation. The works on the task board here. You can do later, when you have time. Vacation? Right. Yes, no one's gonna cancel my holiday or see it's gonna rattle. But don't worry at all, you'll take care of it and soon this crisis is gonna be last winter snow. You better go now, so you don't have to run with your head as your third leg. The door in the back leads to the plant. The door in the back? That's great. Thank you, Ati. Yep. Burn the dress. Throw it in the fire. Burn it all. Burn it into a reindeer. Not into a moose. An 
object of power. How do you think it got down here? A carousel horse. Why is kid stuff always so creepy?
coffee break. The white goes on forever. You can get lost in all that white and never find your way back home. I miss my home.
blows up? Power. Explosion. Too much. Director's duty. Keep the lights on. Ma'am! Hey! Chief Arish, FBC Security. Shouldn't you be in a safe room? They all have HRAs. We're on the same side. My name is Jesse Faden. I'm here to perform the directorial override to get the lockdown lifted. Yeah, yeah. Chief Arish, FBC Security. I'm just... Oh, hang on. You're the new director. <laughs> um, it's a pleasure, ma'am. Let's skip the formalities, please. Right. Faden, ma'am. Look, as you can probably tell, it's a bit of a shit show down here. We've been holding our ground, but whatever's gotten into our buddies has them wrecking the coolant pumps and the power converters. The NSC keeps overheating, and my crews keep getting shot before they have a chance to make any repairs. NSC? Oh, sorry. Bureau jargon. It's what we call the power plant. You know, the uh, big rumbling metal thing? <laughs> uh, Salvador, head of security, asked me to protect it in case of an attack. See, what's inside is dangerous. And Dr. Darling seemed to know it would be a target. Darling? He's here? No, he came down a few days ago, before everything went to hell. He was out of it. He smelled like a bar mat. He was ranting about vulnerabilities and how he only had one large-scale HRA, but that he needed it somewhere else. Still, at least he gave us these personal HRAs before he left. Hey, did I mention that he was tearing his clothes off? <laughs> Crazy dude. Darling knew the hiss was coming. Listen, I love playing 20 questions as much as the next guy, but we have got to get the water and electrical systems repaired before this baby blows. I'll have my guys unlock the doors out of here for you. I'll take care of it. You stay and keep the hiss away from the plant if you can. The hiss? That's what we're calling him? Oh, that's catchy. Oh, listen, the radios aren't working, so if you find my boss Salvador out there, could you please ask him what the plan is? I'm sure he will have one by now. I'll keep an eye out for him. He sure has a lot of faith in his boss. Try to stay alive. When the converters and coolant pumps are working again, we should be able to get this baby back down to a safe temperature. I hope. I should be going. Right. You got a lockdown to lift.
Blaze the bonds. Right up. You need to fix it before the old trick pans inside the plant has a ship fit.
ice and water flow.
place is gonna come down.
Opa! to fix this thing ASAP. Fix it, it fast. fast. If the plan goes good, we can throw the spoon in the hole. The hell?
My old enemy the clock is blocking the pipes. You need to deal with that shit. He is very clever. He is trying to sneak in. We got him caught with his hand in the fish trap. Like that sound.
let's go lift the lock down.
place is gonna come down. That's it. The other sector should be open now. I think it's time I told Emily why I'm here. I'll risk it. You two should get to know each other.
I heard the Hiss attack the power plant. Brings up a lot of new questions. Are they communicating? What about the plant attracted them? The power plant is largely confidential. No use guessing that this is motives if we Even know what kind of energy it uses. What do you mean? It has to be a fusion reactor. There's no other way to create that kind of energy output. Right? Jesse, you made it. And you lifted the internal lockdown. Let's talk, Emily. Yes, of course. Listen, Emily. Screw it. Just tell her. I haven't been completely honest. I have a younger brother. Dylan. When we were kids, we found an old slide projector in Ordinary's landfill. The slides created doorways to other places. Bad things happened. Came through. That's all she gets. The rest stays locked inside. But we found help. Through one of the doorways, we met something. A being. A being? What kind of being? It's hard to describe, but it... She helped us. We managed to turn the projector off. The bad things that came through the doorways... were gone. After that, your people came. Tried to grab us. I ran away. They got Dylan. I left him behind. Bureau agents took your brother? Yes. You covered it up. No one believed me. I just want to find Dylan. I've been looking for him ever since. What happened to the slide projector? It sounds like another object of power. I thought you took it. The Bureau. Along with Dylan. I've never heard of it. But around here, I assume everything's classified. You know, I looked into the ordinary AWE case files after you mentioned it. Trench and Darling were both involved. A large area of the containment sector was reserved for it. The case hasn't been active for a long time. I have no idea if anything's still there. Can you tell me more about this being you found? Let's hope you two get along. She's been with me ever since Ordinary. In my head. She led me to you. I call her... 
Polaris. As in, a guiding star. Did Polaris know about the Hiss? If she got you in here in spite of the lockdown, she's very powerful. Which may help explain your test results. Your readings are incredible, Jesse. Now, cross-referencing them with the database, I found two matches in Darling's old classified files. Unfortunately, I can't access them beyond the file codes, but one was P6, referring to a prime candidate for a potential future bureau director. Uh, this was logged years ago. Dylan. Is that Dylan? The other match is on something called Hedron, which must be connected to these Hedron resonance amplifiers somehow. All I know is that Marshall went to the research sector to secure the HRA production after the his first attacked. So, Marshall seems like our best lead on Dylan. I need to go after her. How can I get to the research sector? Use my keycard. The sector elevator will take you there. Marshall is the next step. What Emily told me about ordinary, my powers being connected to things in the Bureau's past, I am so close to something. Do you feel it? Something's coming. We take turns to come for a visit. I helped you. You owe me now. And when time comes, I will come calling. I saw Trench and Darling arguing a couple weeks ago. Trench was furious. You don't think Darling...